Hello and welcome to this Let's Play as Insulindia. Um, right now we're playing, of course, as the Dutch East Indies. Once we get the Independence Movement Unity and the Independence Movement Strength high enough, we'll of course have a revolution. Uh, but first, before we jump into that, we're going to talk about the goals and what's going to be happening in this Let's Play. So the goal is going to be, of course, to take all of what is now the Dutch East Indies. But we're also going to be doing all of the events that we get later to try to take up all the land of the, uh, pretty much as much of the Southeast uh, Asia as we can. And we're going to be doing that by going down the uh, authoritarian Democrat pass, uh, path and siding with uh, Japan. So with research, we need to focus on getting more research speed and we're actually going to go ahead and go straight with construction speed. Um, that's despite the fact that, if you look, we actually have zero civilian factories working right now. But that's fine because we can get some when we get enough political power to move up our uh, civilian economy. And we're also going to go ahead and start with convoys even though it's not really doing much. So with this national focus, there's only so much we can do. Um, we're going to be going for things like local dockyards and uh, colonial industry because we want to get as much free either infrastructure or factories or whatever we can get before the revolution happens. Uh, none of these options right now give us the ability to do it, but we'll do expand the government navy for a chance at those naval dockyards don't really care about any of this stuff, and we're just going to go ahead and press play. Of course, uh, okay, we'll start off with, uh, we'll be skipping big old events like the uh, assassination of Kremsky, but the Indies in 1936. Barring the syndicalist revolution in 1925, the crown jewel of the Dutch Empire has been a beacon of stability, taking advantage of Dutch ascension into middle Europa to sell its goods, sugar, coffee, oil to the newly opened up markets. In spite of the competition from the now properly set up and rebuilt German competition, this economic growth managed to keep up and stability came along with it. Despite this, the Dutch authorities suppressed any call for independence with the Dutch government believing they will not be able to survive without the oath. Despite, but despite this, the movement grows. Many of the colonial administration feared that if economic hardship were to appear again, Events like 1925 might repeat, or worse. So, uh, one of the things I uh, wanted to try for this series is I want to uh, talk about at least the real history of this. So, uh, with Indonesia, uh, what happened with that is, of course, the Dutch East Indies were... This is, okay, first, uh, before we do that, this is going to be, uh, just fluff. Uh, I don't want to waste too much time, because I want to get to the, uh, actual revolution this episode. So we're going to be skipping stuff like that. But, what, uh, ended up happening is during World War II, of course, the Dutch East Indies is invaded by Japan. And after the end of World War II, the uh, Dutch tried to come back and reset up colonial authority over Indonesia, but um, a man we'll be seeing later, Sukarno, um, was one of the people who helped uh, declare independence. There was a short war, um, but the Dutch, of course, didn't really uh, didn't really try to. Uh, they try to make it seem like it wasn't a war through like pretending it was peacekeeping activities because it was of course not a very good look. Right after the end of World War II, they were just freed from the Nazis and then just going right back into a uh, colonizing kind of... Uh, it's not exactly winning them friends when they uh, needed it. But that war went on for a little bit and then uh, of course they gained independence. But after that war... Uh, we'll see uh, the groups which supported independence uh, started fighting a little bit. This is actually well well represented in the game with independence movement unity as well as strength because there's not just one ideology which wanted independence. There was of course nationalists, Islamists, and uh, communists. 
but here we'll read this. The results of economic hardship that hit Europe after the Black Monday crash could soon be felt in the Dutch East Indies too, who had been selling their goods on the Middle Europa market since the end of the Welt Creek, as the common man in Europe could no longer afford to purchase goods such as sugar and coffee, the prices of said goods imploded with deep deepening implications for the farmers here. But it's of course going to hurt us. We're going to finish this off to get the naval experience, even though I'm not really going to be using it. Kind of need to keep an eye on what's happening here. Um, I think there's a way they can get kicked out of the Entente without joining the Third International. That would be my preference, but you know. We've got Black Monday arrives, so we could go down here and get more naval bases, but that's a waste of time, I believe. We don't have enough. Uh, days before the revolution. Uh, construction speed would be nice. Yeah, so would rubber production. But I'm going to go ahead straight for construction speed and rush that uh, civilian factory. Political power is getting uh, close to 100. One, one thing that we will struggle with is actually political power at the starting point, because every time these uh, go up, we lose some uh, political power. Civilian will go straight. So we now have two civilian factories producing stuff, which should be enough to get a milita military factory built before the revolution. And these are, of course, being built up here because this is uh, part of the land we will keep once the uh, revolution starts. I would like to get down here for infrastructure, but um, because of uh, the way I want to play this, where nationalists hold routing. Uh, rousing speech. A locally well-known nationalist has held a rousing speech in favor of Insulatian independence and his call is heeded. Many seem to be attracted by the words of this man and as a result the ranks of the underground movement are growing. Local administrators suggest we shut him down and while such an action would certainly lower the strength of the movement in the short term it could result in greater unity for the movement in the long term. Arrest them, lose political power, strength, We'll go with this, that way we don't lose um, any influence anywhere. So that moves us to bit low and very low, so not much has changed. Oh, it's this again. Uh, strength grows slightly. And there's the 10 political power we lost. And now both of these are at low. I'm not really expecting to be able to uh, spend much more political power, and if we do, I'm going to spend it on uh, partial mobilization. So one thing that's going to happen, probably, uh, I think it always happens, I'm not for sure, is there is of course going to be the Indochina revolt. Um, sorry, nationalist leader arrested, police have managed to take in a prominent figure in national circles following the in-depth operation, and this high profile arrest will certainly limit the strength of the independence movement in the near future. While charges to be pressed against him are clear, some people in the Kondo government warn against bringing him to court, as it could give him a lot to be to spread his dangerous ideas when the papers report on it. Every man deserves a process. Uh. I don't want to risk losing a bunch, so we'll just... He would get convicted anyways, why bother? But there's going to be, of course, going to be the Indochina Revolt. Probably going to happen before we revolt. So even though it would be um, helpful if we were to send volunteers to help them, uh, we're actually not because if we're going to be Dutch East Indies and it doesn't make sense to try to get a syndicalist revolution near us. So uh, we're not going to. So... The fact that the Nationalists and the Silicists don't really like each other was clear before, but now girls of both sides have started fighting each other in the countryside. The KNIL stands ready to intervene, but some people say it would be perhaps 
You better to let them weaken each other while we sit back and relax, as that will both send out the numbers that make them less likely to reconcile. We're going to intervene immediately to prevent that from getting uh, too low. So with uh, sugar fields done, we'll go ahead and build a extra civilian factory, which will go in main Java here. Cool. So something that will be controlled by our revolutionaries. And we're going to be hurting for civilian factories the entire entire game because construction's done. We'll go into there, but. As you can see, we don't have very many build slots, or at least not near as many as I would like, and uh, so we're not going to be wasting them on civilian factories. We're instead going to be building military factories slash uh, naval dockyards there. So we're going to be getting pretty much over civilian factories through the trade of our natural resources. So we made it to a uh, soccer event that we immediately lost, but it was still an honor to be there. After we finish this, we're going to go ahead and um, go Indo speaks against independence, a senior member of our Indo-Dutch mixed race of European and Insulinian, sorry, Insulinian descent has spoken out against independence, arguing it would subject the Indo people to an unfair tyranny of an inlander majority. This call has even reached the metropolitan Netherlands, where it seems to influence public opinion against independence, although this was arguably the case already. Nevertheless, the Ministry of Colonies might be more eager to send support. So we, the unity of the independence movement shrinks slightly. Yeah, so we're definitely going to be going for naval dockyards because uh, the fact that they give us build slots, even though they are immediately getting filled, is uh, is very important. I kind of want to see what um, uh, Japan is doing because they're going to be. Oh, sorry. White Sun over China. Polish military peace control. So they appear to be going. You can't really see. Okay, never mind. They're still social conservative, so if they stay like that, I'll be happy. I just don't know if they go like national populist or anything, if that'll cause any problems. Okay, the Volksrad passes the Sutarjo petition. The Volksrad's largely powerless parliament of our colony has passed a petition of... I'm sorry, I can't pronounce that. Calling for a conference to speak about the future of the Dusty Indies, specifically in terms of promoting it to an equal status within the kingdom. While it being passed, it is now the task of Governor General to send it back home. The Volksrad is merely an advisory legislator, however, and the Dutch and Indo population is concerned about the implications of the petition. So we could sim we s so we could also simply veto the whole deal. Veto, of course. Growing unity. Unity's up to medium. Strength below. Foundation of the Dutch East Indies Football Union. Let's get past that. Strength grows. Independence goes down. And that of. I think that knocked our unity down. So strength is very low, unity is medium. That's unfortunate. The next time we get an event of a national leader being uh, arrested, we might need to just go for uh, letting him defend himself. Cool. 
Alright, so now with that civilian factory done, we'll go with the naval dockyards. Social state of Siam. Interesting, I don't think I've ever really seen that. Usually I see the Kingdom of Siam versus, uh, I forget the name of the other one. It's like a military coup. Here we go. Uh, I think it would be beneficial for uh, the Indo-Chinese to win here. Even though we are going to be going authoritarian democrat, having the uh, German East Asia being weakened is of course an advantage to us. Especially considering they have a uh, decently large navy and a good air force and good civilian factories to back everything up, while well, we don't. Alright, the RSAP represents calls for independence. A socialist member of the Metropolitan Dutch House of Representatives has openly called for the end of Dutch rule in Insulindia. And unsurprisingly, the news entered the Indies within the hours. Many nationalists feel emboldened by the sign of the growing support for Insulindian cause in the mainland the Netherlands, and they will likely win new members in the move to a letter thanking the good uh, Belinda has already been circulating in Batavi. Batavia. Um, cool, so that grows, strength grows, growing unity, unity high, strength low. So we need to, we're gonna be willing to lose some unity for strength now. After the dockyards are done... Uh, part of me wants to go down here for the naval bases, even though I said I wouldn't. UI, here, wait, trade. Do I really need more oil and rubber production? No. Really don't need it, but I want it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let, let me think about this rationale real quick. Um, we're not going to be switching up to upgrade our weapons very often. We're going to go with Concentrated. We're going to go ahead and go Partial Mobilization. Yeah, this is going to go up and down all the time based off of just stupid stuff, like how much people are trading with us. Now with the local, dock local dockyards built. Part of me wants to go here, then we can still go for... Uh, For the infrastructure, the infrastructure would be nice. You know what? I think I think the naval dockyards are more important. Even though I said I wasn't going to. It's it's actually safer to go for expanding the dockyards than it is to try to get all the way down here. For the expanded infrastructure. Yeah, the, the, this one really sucks. Civilian construction speed and lose military when we really just want to build military. An expedition, best of luck. What's going on here? So they're in Saigon. long elected president. Yeah, so they're stronger, but they don't have any military factories to build anything. So once they run out of guns, they're out of guns.
You have no idea how bad I want to send volunteers to help him. Oh, that's it's all connected. I, I think uh, they're almost done. Rip the Indo Chinese Union. Excavation done. We're gonna go ahead and go here and get some support weapons done. Radio opinion factor, that's nice. I mean, Brazil went syndicalist? No, they went social democrat, okay. There is a real threat that these guys could go syndicalist and that could cause some problems. But I don't want them to be too strong. The only people I want to be strong is uh, the Kobe Asian Prosperity here. Expand the dockyards. I'm not getting any events popping up, which is kind of frustrating, not gonna lie. I guess we're gonna spin our political power on this the next chance we do for the civilian. Uh, Construction speed. I mean military construction speed. We got one of these built, didn't we? Yeah, because I remember it popping up, and then that's when we threw a bunch of this up here. So we're at three total. I don't know how many... Where are these things built? Military construction speed. When will this be done? November 14th, yeah, no way. Regent murdered. One of our local ministers known as the Regents has been murdered. The police suspect it's a gang of pro-nationalist thugs who were angered by recent statements of the Regent who are known for their terror. They don't have the means to prove this as of yet, though. Will we allow them to just bring them in, or... As it seems highly unlikely it's not them, or do we prefer to spend time and money investigating the case? Just pick them up. Okay, wait, so we want strength higher. So the strength shrinks. Yeah, well, we, can't, we can't risk letting the strength get lower. Let's hope it gets dead in. Regent murdered dead and reached. Following an in-depth investigation, the police conclude that there is an insufficient evidence to press charges against, ever, against anyone. The amount of clues appear too little for them to solve the mystery. That means we can't arrest anyone. Okay. That sucks. He's still unable to, uh... Oh well, at least it means we can get the naval base. Stand off in America. Bill, I mean, I guess we just go for uh, rubber production now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I spoke way too soon. Okay. The Republic declared in Serbia. There's not any, like...
free stuff we can get around here no support weapons done whoa we'll get started on construction speed Surely this will break up soon, or as we, uh... Fine, I just want to get that strength up. Kingdom of Spain is... Sorry, Kingdom of Spain. It's Kingdom of Siong. Nationalist movement is registered. Every man deserves a process. The strength of the independence movement shrinks. The unity grows. We, we have to risk it. Come on. Come on, let's get lucky. Get the strength up. I mean, I guess worst case scenario, we're able to get a bunch of extra stuff built up, but, you know. Rousing speech, independence movement grows, and strength grows. Unity high, independent strength medium. Zardom restored, the army takes control in Philippines, and a Chinese result. Okay, what, what, what uh, are these guys doing? Okay, so no focus tree. Do we know yet what Japan's doing? Not really. Step up rubber production, coal, and the shell operations. Okay, so this guy, I don't really talk about him because he's not super important, but he's just like a moderate. He wants to uh, get rid of the nationalist movement, but he also wants to keep like the Dutch ethical policy. Uh, there's not much about it. Not even in the game, he's not super important. There's where he resigns and then get more interesting people. Cynicalism spreads to Burma. Nationalists riot. Nationalists have taken to the streets, but what was supposed to be a peaceful demonstration it quickly turned violent as our police wanted to disperse them. We don't know if the violence will expand, and the chief of police wonders how it will respond to the event. Don't shoot. The strength grows. Independence strength goes down. Yeah, we'll definitely go for the strength option. The 1937 Dutch election. We'll read this. The Netherlands has traditionally been one of the most politically stable nations in Europe, and the Dutch people have for years been entrenched in their own institutional pillars, which tended to undermine radical tendencies. Through the economic chaos caused by the Netherlands, close ties of Germany and Europa, and the rise of the far-left Red Front nationalist VNH, the country's political situation is more tense than it has been in many years. The ruling CNA, ultra bloc made over conservative and confessional parties won the election with a tiny minority. Unwilling to loan, they invited the liberal LSP party into coalition and the country now has a smoothly centrist government that might be more willing to negotiate with the far left and right. The Dutch do love their elections. Uh, we'll go fuel storage. Just in case we need to have more oil, we'll be ready. I still wasn't able to get movement strength high enough. I think once both are rated high, yeah, we'll have a good chance of an actual war starting. But it's fine, I mean, I can take the- I'll take the extra infrastructure. Unfortunately, that doesn't give us more resources like it does in the base game, but, you know. 
Cynicalism spreads to uh, Switzerland. Strength of the independence movement grows. Both of these are high. Um, so I think it just has a chance of triggering now. But I think we're just going to finish this national focus, but then we're probably going to... Oh, the governor resigns. Oh. Governor General Bonafresh de John has mentioned multiple times that he tended to resign from his post as Governor General of the Indies, but delayed it in the light of the Dutch elections that were increasingly showing to be an electoral feast for his patron party, the VNH, back in the Netherlands. For better or worse, the elections are over now, and it will remain to be seen if the new Mrs. Colonies will appoint as his replacement. We await the decision with joy. So he started with the sorry V and H. Which party is that? Paternal autocrats. Oh. Interesting. I have no idea the chance of this to trigger, so I don't know if we're actually going to be able to uh, make it to the infrastructure one. So we're going to go ahead and select that to have it ready, but um, unfortunately we've run out of time. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed uh, the start of this new series. Um, but let me know what you guys think I should do. I'm pretty sure I want to stay with uh, Sukarno and um, go with Japan and just fight um, the imperialists around in Southeast Asia. So kick out the German e East Asia, kick out the Australasian Confederation, just stuff like that. But of course, if you guys would rather me do something else, uh, let me know and I will consider uh, changing the political path of the country.